OMG BBG! What's up BBGs? We're back with another Beyblade Burst GT unboxing. We have random booster and of course we're going to be focusing on the prize Beyblade Flare Dragon. So it's nice to see another Beyblade named Dragon because we're getting another Dragon Gachi chip. Uh, the Flare base is going to be brand new so super hyped to get that. Uh, if you haven't already make sure you check out our previous video where we unboxed Gaia Dragoon because that's a super hyped Beyblade that also comes in this random booster set. So make sure you guys check that out. So taking a look at the back of the box, we have the brand new parts, flare like I was mentioning, and the brand new disc as well, around. So this around disc, you can actually find it in Gaia Dragoon as well. So they share the new parts, which is pretty sweet. And yeah, it's a stamina type Beyblade. The color theme is all red, so it's looking pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's also a bunch of other recolors in here that look pretty slick. So we definitely need to check those out too. Um, I would say out of the whole collection, other than the prize Beyblades, definitely the white slash Valkyrie or the all black Kerbius is looking pretty slick. All right, let's start unboxing all of these bays. We'll open them all up and then yeah, put all the stickers, everything like that. And we'll show you guys what's inside this whole collection of random boosters. Let's get to it. Here are all the bays, guys. All right, all stickers on. Man, that was so many. All right, so let's go over the whole collection to show you guys what we have. Of course, the prize Beyblade in this one, prize number one is Flare Dragon. Comes with that brand new around disc and Planet Driver. And then of course you get the send weight as well. So that's also a nice addition to the whole combo. Next up we have Crash Ragnarok, seven bump, fusion dash. And then on the other side we have Geist, Fafnir, Ratchet, Gyro. And we get another flare base here in this green color. It's Flare Ashura, five, survive, Retsu. And we have this yellow, revive, Phoenix, eight dash, meteor, a cell dash. So two dash parts in that combo. Such a long name, dash and then dash again. Yeah, exactly. And then probably the two faves for our recolors. Uh, we have this really slick white and black slash Joker ten keep Metsu. I think this one looks really good. Dude, it just reminds you of like a like a mime Beyblade. I feel like this colorway should have been with the original Joker. It would have looked really nice too. And then following up, we got the Black Hazard Curbius Double Zero Hit Guard. I also really like this color combo too. I feel like we're really obsessed with like all black or it's like really slick white colors and stuff like that. It okay, seems to like be our, our kind of like our uh, yeah. faves. Yeah, but do you know which one we're not obsessed over? Which one are we not obsessed Crash over? Crash Ragnarok. That thing yeah. is trash. Yeah. This is the only trash thing you can get from this random booster. Yeah, that is definitely probably one of the worst ones you could get in this random booster. Everything but... <laughs> else is okay. It's yeah. good. Um, but you know what? The Geist Fafnir, that color combo is actually nice too. I actually think it looks nicer in person like compared to like the pictures on the box. And there's rubber. It's looking really good. Like the deep blue color. It's pretty sick. All right, guys. So that is everything that comes in this collection. Um, which one is your favorite for the recolors? Let us know in the comment section. But let's start talking about the brand new Bay Flare Dragon. As soon as you look at this Bay, guys, this thing is massive. Like it's actually such a wide layer. It's really obvious too. Like look at this, guys. It's huge. All right, look at this. So it might have been a little bit easier to see before we put the stickers on, but there is metal balls incorporated into this layer. Like there's so many. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six metal balls on there. Shake it, shake it. Look at this. So much sound. You guys hear that? There is so much going on in this layer. It's crazy. And when you go over to the around disc, it's the same thing. All right. So very circular uh, outer frame here, right? But then the four points, obviously where the, like the most metal is, if you flip to the back, they also have more metal balls on the bottom. It's like, okay, now of course you pair that with the driver too, Planet, which we've seen before on Zeus, also has metal balls at the bottom too. So obviously the main ball, it rotates, right? And that's like your main point. And then you have two of the smaller ones that also rotate like when you're spinning like that, swings to the outside. So. Literally, they just like, you know what, let's just throw a bunch of metal balls into this whole design and they just put it in every piece, basically. 
Now, only if they could have added a metal ball to the gachi chip. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. So that would have made it like completely, you know, fitting for like the metal ball theme. But yeah, that's Flare Dragon. Okay, so let's put the bay together. All right, test the teeth right now as well. Oh, it's pretty loose, guys. Yeah, it's not tight at all. But at the same time though, with such a big layer, if they made the teeth too tight, then it'd be super OP, right? So it makes sense that a bigger layer is a little bit looser. Yeah, just uh, think about Garuda, because uh, teeth on Garuda are basically non-existent. Exactly, but it was so big though, it deflected damage so well, right? So it's expected. If you compare it to these other previous bays that you thought were big, look this, Garuda. Yeah. You thought like, Garuda was big. This is thick and wide. Exactly. Like, look at this, guys. This is even bigger. Here's Air Knight. Comparison. Uh, like, Air Knight looks chunkier, so it looks like a little bit bigger than Garuda. It's just like a thicker layer, basically, right? But look at this. The size is just next level. Now, so put it big. beside Crash Ragnarok. Yeah, Crash Ragnarok is looking like real small. It's like tiny now. Super tiny. Look at this. This is a massive bay, guys. It's honestly huge. Like the biggest lair that we have right now. Let's weigh the whole bay. Lair Dragon. 61 grams. Nice. So overall, pretty heavy. Let's just it, compare it to. Is it heavier than Ace Dragon? Ace Dragon? Oh, just short a few grams. All right. I want to weigh out each individual part. I'm curious to see how much just the base weighs because it has like the metal balls, right? So that itself weighs 15. Once again, let's compare it with just like, you know, Ace Dragon base. No metal balls, nine. So if you're looking for a heavy base, this is where it's at. It's almost stubble. It's pretty darn heavy. Now let's look at the round disc. 27 grams, also pretty heavy too. So still not as heavy. This thing is 29 grams. Yeah, so 29 grams, so it's short a couple. But yeah, overall though, this is a pretty heavy combo and obviously that's going to be good for a stamina type, right? Especially with all the balls floating on the outside, right? When you're spinning really fast, right? Three, two, one, go. Oh, shoot! Yep, that thing's huge. Yep, it looks massive in the stadium. Alright, pretty calm now, of course, like once it hits the center of the stadium. Um, I think we're really going to have to start battling. Let's do some test battles to really see how well this stamina bay does. It's like Grand Dragon on steroids. Is Flare Dragon. Let's try Chosy Achilles. Three, Three two, two, one. one. That's definitely how you're gonna lose to uh, Flare Dragon, not making any contact. Oh, lasted for sure. It's hard not to make contact with you because you're so big. Yeah, exactly. It's like avoided pretty well. Revive Phoenix. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Ooh, nice. Look how big Flare Dragon is compared to Revive when you don't have the shield on. It's literally hitting like a wall. Massive. No. Oh, nice. Finally something beating Revive, hey? The oversized Beyblade. Chosy Valkyrie. Three, Three two, two, one. Oh, getting rushed. Nice. Survived. I feel like when you hit the pocket, there's a very high chance that you're going to come back out. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Just stuck. So you can't here. even go through the bear, pocket. Barely fall out of the pocket there because the layer is so big. So that's kind of nice. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, big hits. It's withstanding the hits uh, pretty well, actually. Yeah, the teeth aren't that tight. Ooh. But I mean, if you made the teeth tight on this bait as well, then that would just be pretty OP. Okay, one more guy. Storm oh, Pegasus. The ultimate test. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Survive the initial rush. 
Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Survive this one, not two. Yes, Ooh, you did it. Nice. Okay, one, one more, one more. Ace Dragon. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. I feel like this is what um, Grand Dragon should have been. <laughs> this huge yeah. flare? Like yeah, a stamina flare. type, right? Yeah, it'd be even more OP. Oh, come on! Yes! Woo! Made it! That's sick, man. Nice. I didn't expect this video to do that well. Alrighty, BBG, so that's it for our Flare Dragon unboxing with the rest of Random Booster as well. Make sure you check out the Guy Dragoon unboxing if you guys haven't already. Overall, this bay is pretty sick. So they made another really big lair. When we saw that with, you know, uh, Garuda, it's like, dude, the thing's OP. So now this thing's even bigger. And just during the test battles, it beat pretty much like, like it beat like everyone, right? So it's pretty good. Imagine putting like a dash driver to make the teeth even stronger. This thing is going to be... You know, it's going to be strong for a while, for sure, until it, it finds an opponent that can burst it really quick. Who um, should we put this up against? Exactly, yeah. You guys let us know in the comment section below who we should battle uh, against the brand new Flare Dragon, okay? You guys let us know. Alright, and as always, Geek Soap! Geek Soap.